Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Mandy. We're gonna do a negative space swipe on this 12 inch MDF round. As soon as I get the lighting right. So I'm gonna show you the colors I'm gonna use and then I'm gonna move pretty quickly. I'm gonna start with Midnight Blue from Matisse. Um, the next color most likely will be Azure Moon from Color Art. This is a primary element. I'm kind of thinking through this as I show you. So forgive me for being a little scatterbrained about it. Then I think we're going to do Water Dragon, which is a prism pour from Color Art. I may actually skip and put that toward the top. Uh, Chrysocolla from Color Art. This is a this is a it is a prism pour color in the past, but it is a primary element. Um, I'm going to do Twilight Violet, which is a prism pour color. Super beautiful. I feel like my lighting's a little off right here. I'm trying to. Ah, try not to knock over this tripod. Bring a little light over here. Okay. And then Poison Ivy is also a primary element. I think this is in the summer sequence set. And Rustic Earth. And I'm going to use an indigo blue-black cell activator. Somewhere in this mix, I'm probably going to include some solar flare for a little pop of gold. So let's get going. Today I'm using the Bloom recipe. I have a mixing video for what I use in my recipe in every description box just to make it easy to have as a reference point. Um, in this video I'm actually using um, Glidden Premium and Satin. I usually use eggshell. I've actually never used the Satin but I know it works well um, so I'm excited to try it. So far it seems like it's less bubbly which is always a win. And this is a 12 inch MDF round. It's taped up in the back. These um, can be hung on the wall with like command strips, but you can also put them on an easel and they're very nice looking. So, and sometimes when you're practicing and trying new things, it's kind of the perfect surface to practice on. They're fairly easy to resin. Let's see. I know I probably have enough paint, but you know me, I tend to overdo it. Um, I really need to change my press and seal on my my spinner because it has a lot of paint on it. Just trying to even out this side a little bit. I know I have too much paint. It's one of my colossal problems. So I'm gonna cover this up, put this to the side. <clears throat> I'm also maybe gonna use some boom gel. I just haven't gotten that far. If I do, it'll probably be toward the top. Or maybe a layer on the bottom. I don't know. I tend to use too many colors, so I'm trying to limit myself a little bit. Um, we'll maybe throw in a little Mally Ringneck Blue at the bottom to kind of help with the bottom layer of paint. The reason I like to start with an acrylic paint at the bottom is that, you know, most pigments are semi-transparent so if you just throw them down on the bottom which I do sometimes you just have to know that as they stretch out over that white paint they're probably gonna not keep as much of their color fastness so it's always good to kind of layer so this is Mally Ringneck Blue put that down as a base layer with our Midnight Blue and We'll see what happens. I'm gonna swipe with my cell activator loaded on my palette knife. Today I'm gonna use probably my favorite swiping tool, which is my Color Art swiping tool. You guys are probably more familiar with me using that one if you follow my channel. And so yeah, need to mix up some more of this Midnight Blue. Now, um, I'm going to put some Azure Moon down. I 
This is a beautiful color, and this is from the most recent primary element set. And I have the link below. Also, don't forget that you can save 20% off of anything on the Color Art website using my code, Mandy1120, also listed below. And that includes primary elements, um, prism pour, all that jazz. So, and of course I also have one for pixel paint designs where I get Boom Gel and Australian Floetrol. That's also listed below. It's Mandy15, all caps. Um, so don't forget to check the description box for discount codes. I have a couple bubbles. Okay, I am going to throw some Chrysocolla down here. Really torn between putting... Like it doesn't matter as much the order you put things in in a swipe as it does a bloom. But like I don't want to drown the colors with another color. So I, I want to put them down and with some intentionality where they're, there's like distinct lines of them, I guess, is the best way I can put that. Okay. That's a gorgeous color. And I'm going to put a little of this Poison Ivy color, which is so beautiful. I think I'm going to put that here. I might actually put that in some separate streaks, but probably not. It's just a gorgeous color. There's so much color and sparkle in it. It's amazing. Put that over here. And then we'll do... The Twilight Violet over here. And I might have too much paint because it's getting kind of wide over here. Twilight Violet. Uh, Water Dragon. Very nice. <laughs> I have no place left to put things. Okay. Um, rustic Earth, which I do want to be a pretty dominant color in here, so we're going to put quite a bit of it down the middle. Rustic Earth is one of my new favorites. Just look at it, it's just delicious. Okay, and then. A little bit of golden honey, um, maybe more of like a, a drizzle of golden honey, you know. It's not the main event, but it's like a nice accent. Not golden honey, sorry, solar flare. Okay, now I may have too much paint. Let's find out. So I'm going to load up my palette knife. I was going to put some deep sea on the top but I didn't do it. Let's maybe put some parrotfish green over the top for giggles. Cause I like putting boom gel up near the cell activator. It's nice. It causes some fun cells. I'm just trying to get the globbies out of the cap of my boom gel. Okay. I hope I got them. Um, parrotfish green. There, little, little accent color. All right, now using my color art swiper, as you can see, I have more paint than I have width. So that's going to be challenging. So I may have to take a different approach. I'm using a blue black Atelier interactive cell activator. I start with three parts Australian Floetrol to one part paint, and because this is a heavy body paint, I usually end up adding a little bit of Floetrol to thin it down a little bit further. Um, I don't know that I could give you an exact ratio. It may end up being four to one, but um, 
I don't know that I could give you an exact ratio on that because I kind of eyeball it, but, and that's the best thing I can say is you kind of have to play around with things long enough to eyeball that and figure out what works for you. Cause some people do four to one for Amsterdam and that's too thin for me, but it works great for some people. So everybody's different. So for what it's worth, kind of learn which consistency works for you. It's good to have a guide and start from there, but I don't think anything is a perfect science. So there you have it. Let's swipe. I'm gonna have to be a little bit creative because I have more surface than I have tool width. Kind of messed that up in the middle there, huh? I will let it do its thing. It'll probably be fine. Sometimes messing with it is helpful. But sometimes if you just let it do what it's going to do on its own and then come back with added tinkering that works a little better. All right, I'm just cleaning off my tool and we'll do the other side. So far, the colors are great together. So I just mixed the cell activator, so it's a little bit thick, but it seems to be working fine, so. I went to pour, I had this idea in my head and I was like, I have just used my last of my cell activator, so I'm gonna have to mix them up real quick. I mean, I had others, but this one is probably my favorite for negative space swipes, mostly because it holds its structure really nicely, and when you have the swiping over the pillow, you get these cute little pillow cells that are really nice, and they don't get like, um, What's the word I'm looking for? They kind of hold their cute little pillow cell shape instead of being um, too wobbly. I don't know if I'm making any sense. My ADD kicks in pretty quick. Um, let's see. I feel like I have to go this way because of how that was in the center. Apparently I started off further in the middle than I realized toward the other side. I can't think today, what the heck? Maybe I'm hungry. Okay, let me clean this up and then we'll tinker with it. I hope everybody's doing well. Today's Tuesday, but you'll probably see this on Thursday. Maybe. So trying to figure out which weekday works best. Um, <clears throat> All right, let me clean up. Oh my gosh, I forgot to wear my gloves. Ooh, busted. Let me put on gloves. Sorry, y'all. Bad habits. Bad habits. Let me put on my gloves. Okay. I even have them right here, looking right at them. I forgot to put them on. All right, so you can see we have some challenges here. Um, let me put on gloves before I keep showing y'all things. Some of this is really cool. Um, and this developed really nicely, even in spite of having so much pillow paint. So um, we're going to have to breathe gently or break the surface tension here gonna have to do something about this right here whether I come through and wreck it um, that's where I swooshed and didn't do a great job swooshing so let's see what we do but first let's break the surface tension and get some of the cell activator to open up where it's not opened up and go from there I'll grab a skewer um, so sorry if I get my head in the way I 
I'm just gently raking the surface tension. I'm not really trying to blow very hard, just enough to break it up a little bit. The reason why is you don't want too much cell activator in one area. It doesn't usually dry well that way. And a lot of times there's great color under there. You want to give it a chance to come through. All right, we'll let, let it kind of develop a little bit. Trying to not drag my shirt in it. I'm going to pop a couple bubbles. Getting a baby wipe, sorry about the noise. Pop a couple bubbles while we're letting it develop. We have a couple of like the most really annoying ones that are going to definitely pop as it dries. And so we've got to get them now or they're going to mess things up. So I'm using a toothpick works well, but there's this little pointy edge on these little tweezers that works a little bit better, except it gets covered in paint. So you kind of have to be patient with it. Anyway, it's coming through where we blew into the paint a little bit. It, it's not perfect, but again, it's going to open up a little bit as we spin. I love this rustic earth color and it looks great with these colors. So um, I was trying to figure out what I wanted to use it with. And I was like, hmm, it'd look cool with poison ivy and some teals and like a purple. And I already had most of those mixed up. So I was like, well, let's see what we already have and let's work with it, you know? All right, now, so far, really like it. I'm going to kind of move it a little bit because I'm thinking that my spinner might be a little crooked or it could just be that I wasn't as centered as I thought I was to begin with. Um, some bubbles still right here. They're hiding. They're hiding. The bubbles are hiding. Anyway, do you guys get as many bubbles as I do? It's so annoying and I've been trying to not torch because it's naughty. You're not supposed to torch with blooms, but sometimes I'm just like, gosh, bubbles, let's go. Stop wasting my time. So every once in a while I go rogue and torch anyway. I don't know if this is gonna be one of those times. I really don't wanna do that at this stage because then sometimes you get some weird cells. Let me not, let me trust my instincts, okay. My hands are not super steady right now. A couple of you. Just kind of popping some bubbles. Some of those superficial ones will pop if you give it a brief gust of air. Can't go too crazy or you'll mess up your design, but. So. I like it. It's pretty colors. Okay, I have an idea for this funky part. So let's start with my idea in case it doesn't work. I don't know if that's gonna entirely work or not, but um, Sometimes I like to take the skinny part of the skewer and where the cell activator or the paint looks a little funny, fuzzy around the edge. I like to kind of just guide it where I want it to go. So it causes all those little fuzzy parts that you probably can't even see to be a little more cooperative. Let me move that ring light. I never see the ring light in the reflection until I get paint on there and then I'm like, wow, it's been there the whole time. Now my hands are shaking and it's hard for me to pop these bubbles. <sighs> that was too harsh. Okay. Stupid bubbles. If you guys saw my last video, you saw that 
my torching after I blew it out was a terrible idea. I got these weird cells and I was like, I didn't want those. Okay, now one more time this way. Let's see. I'm a little shaky on this. Part of me knows as it spins out, it's going to expand a little bit. But part of me knows it will never stop being kind of a weird indention, so I'm tempted to come right through it and wreck it. I wish y'all could tell me what to do. Sometimes wrecking works great and sometimes it's distracting looking. So you can't always know which is gonna be the outcome until you give it a shot. So the thing I don't like about the idea of wrecking it is if I wreck it and come through here, it's way over here. And like there's some really nice cells in here so I just don't know if I want to do that the other thing I can do is sort of make it look like we wanted that to be unique right there like we wanted it to stand out and I think that's probably our best bet is to come through and maybe even come through this right here and make it look like we wanted that weird gutter of paint. It'll be our little secret that that was not intended, right? And, and I'm really torn because I can come up through here, but I'm almost afraid that this is gonna become kind of muddy if I do that. But I think this right here will distract a little bit from there, if that makes sense. And I can pull some of this color in here. The problem is you always run the risk of it being too close to the pillow and showing. So my gut says to try to maybe leave that alone. Maybe draw some small accent lines up here to break it up a little bit. And maybe even draw some small accent lines right here. Because then it doesn't look so funky the way it's just there, you know. There, okay. We doing it, we doing it. All right, now... That wasn't my best effort there. Okay. Um, I'm tempted to come over here and go, but I just don't know that that will go well. Um... Sometimes the most minuscule part that you don't notice when it spins out becomes crazy looking. And you're like, whoa, I would have fixed that earlier on if I had known, you know? Like this, I just tried to pop this this, this uh, bubble and pulled up some pillow paint. Actually, I have pillow paint on my skewer, that's the problem. I'm such a mess. I just got paint all over me. Oh, okay. I'm about ready to spin, in case y'all are getting thoroughly bored. Um, come on. I feel like any more that I do will almost be overworking it, and I know that it's not going to work a whole bunch, but 
um, I'm afraid to make it worse. So let's spin. Let's see what happens. See how it opens up. Now I'm really glad I didn't put more pillow paint because we would have had to spin massively to get the paint off. And I think it would have really compromised our design to have to overspin. So as it stands, I'm still having to spin quite a bit more than I thought I would, which is enlarging the design because again, remember we used a bunch of paint. So you wipe my hands again or my gloves that is so that I can pop any bubbles that came up. See now this weird part in the middle doesn't bother me so much. It kind of looks like we did it on purpose. I think it's more, I mean, I still notice it, but this part kind of helps, I think. What do you guys think? Do you love these colors together? I do. I really, really like them together. Do we have enough paint off? Don't know if we do. Let's spin gently one more time. think it's hardly any negative space anymore but I think we have enough paint off I'm gonna take a chance so I'm going to <sighs> which way do we like it do we like it this direction I kind of think I do the reason being is this looks like a large hump if you put it on the top sorry I'm cleaning my hands in case I tweak anything else it's almost kind of late to do that, but this part kind of looks like that's a bubble that popped. Sorry, ADD. This part, if you put it on the top, it just kind of looks like whoa, you know, whereas this it kind of comes down. I even kind of like the idea of. that just to break it up a little just a little not a lot just a little and then it kind of looks like all of this is a little more intentional and then the top can be like that what do y'all think do you like it like that or do you like it like this where the top is closest to you so this is where the, the top is closest to you, or the top of the camera. Uh, with the pillow cells on the top. And then this is where the funkier part's on the top. Let me know what you think. I'm curious what you think. Um, you know, it's always different from everybody's vantage point. But let me clean up a little bit, and I'll give you guys a close-up. And I'd love to know what you think. Don't forget about the discount codes in the description box below. Um, the link to my fluid art group is also there. We'd love to have you join and share your your beautiful creations with us. And um, yeah, I'll be right back. All right, everybody. So let me show you the close up. I'm still seeing more stupid bubbles. Look at the colors, though. Just look at that. Look at the way the solar flare just adds that little pop of gold. It'll be really beautiful resin. I love the way these colors look with Rustic Earth. Rustic Earth was really the main event for me. I wanted to use it. I love the way all of these colors blend together. I wanted to use it in um, a negative space swipe and I was like, I can either kind of focus on the fall colors or I can pull it in to some other colors. And I love the way the Twilight Violet worked with it so beautiful look at that anyway i love the colors let me know what you think of the colors the composition thank you again so much for watching i appreciate you guys have a wonderful wonderful day